Hello, everyone. Great to have your company yet again on Calkine TV. Hope you're enjoying your day, whatever you're getting up to. I'm Sage, and right now you're watching The Buzzing Trends. Today we're going to talk about the performance of uranium stocks listed on the ASX. And like all commodity markets, the uranium market has a history of volatility and moving with the standard forces of supply and demand as well as geopolitical pressures. The ongoing Russia-Ukraine crisis and the civil war-like situation in Kazakhstan have recently pushed up uranium's price. Kazakhstan produces over 40% of the world's uranium, while Russia is a driving force in the uranium market. The Australian uranium production is forecast to decline from 2021, as the number of active uranium mines has fallen from three down to two. And meanwhile, price growth is expected to increase uranium export values from 500 million Australian dollars in 2021 to 2022 to 729 million Australian dollars by 2026 to 2027. Uranium was trading at 47 per pound in the international market and the metal price has gone up roughly 52.39% in the last year. Let's now take a look at the share market performance of three ASX listed uranium stocks which have grabbed the investors' attention lately. These stocks include Paladin Energy, Elevate Uranium and Boss Energy. Starting with Paladin Energy. In its portfolio, the company has large-scale uranium production capabilities at the Langer Einrich mine in Namibia. Besides, Paladin Energy also holds a diversified exploration portfolio in Australia and Canada. The company has a market cap of 2.30 billion Australian dollars. The shares of ASX-listed Australian uranium miner Paladin Energy traded 2.903% higher at 79 cents per share on the ASX 31st of May. And today, during the afternoon session, Paladin Energy shares were trading at 74 cents, down by 6.92%. In the last one year, the shares of Paladin Energy have gained over 59%, while the stock is down nearly 16% year-to-date. And let's move on to Elevate Uranium. It is an ASX-listed Australian uranium explorer that owns resources in Namibia and Australia. The company has a market cap of $143.25 million Australian dollars. In the last one year, Elevate Uranium's share price has gained 50%, while the stock is up almost 4% year-to-date. Elevate Uranium's shares were seen trading 0.961% lower at 51 cents per share on the ASX 31st of May. And today, during the afternoon session, Elevate Uranium's shares were trading at 50 cents, down by 2.94%. And last but not least, let's discuss Boss Energy. It has one of the few uranium projects that are ready to participate in the initial stages of the new uranium bull market, given the current situation. And given the rising uranium prices, the company is actively identifying and positioning the Honeymoon Project to be Australia's next producer of approximately 3.3 million pounds per annum. The company has a market cap of 857 million Australian dollars. And the shares of Boss Energy were spotted trading at $2.44 Australian per share, 31st May. And today, during the afternoon session, its shares were trading at $2.30 Australian, down by 5.35%. In the last one year, Boss Energy shares have gained over 1,330%, while the stock is down approximately 0.41% year-to-date. So to sum it up for you, mounting geopolitical tensions and an imbalance between the supply chain is causing a lot of market volatility and impacting prices of uranium. It'll be interesting to see how these stocks adapt to these changes and how they perform in the near future. Thanks for joining us. Hopefully that was informative for you, but that's all for now. We'll be back with the Buzzing Trends show soon to share the latest market insights with you. Till then, do stay tuned to Calkine TV for more of the stock, business and economy related hot trends. Sage signing off for now.